How's it going, very important people? I'm Alora, and today's tech tip should help you get more familiar with your computer's keyboard. Now time for the title segment. In today's video, I'm going to give you a pretty basic tutorial of some of the most common and helpful keyboard shortcuts on PC because for whatever reason it seems like Apple users already know all of the shortcuts um, and here at VIP we like PC better anyway. First things first, you should probably familiarize yourself with the control key on your keyboard. It is on the left hand side, kind of sitting under your pinky. Um, it's going to be your best friend for shortcuts. The first three shortcuts I have for you are the ever basic copy, cut, and paste. Copy is really easy, it's just control plus C. Um, you'll probably want to highlight whatever it is you're trying to copy. Um, if it's a URL, generally if you just click up into your browser, it'll automatically highlight the entire URL for you so that when you paste it, you have a link that is ready to go. Next is cut, and cut is control plus X. You can think of it, think of the X key as being like a pair of scissors. On to paste. Paste took me a while to remember, it's control plus V. Um, finally, I realized that the V kind of, sort of, if you squint, looks like the head of a tube of Elmer's glue. So hopefully that helps you. If you'd like to open your start menu with a shortcut, that's control plus escape. Control plus clicking on a link will take you directly to the link in a new window rather than having to highlight, copy, and paste the link. Wow. Another nifty shortcut is Control plus F, which lets you search for a word or a phrase um, in any document or on any web page, and I seriously wish I knew about this when I was in school. And if your boss walks in while you're scrolling on social media, shopping online, or even applying to other jobs, then the Alt key, which is on the left-hand side of your spacebar, plus the F4 key will close whatever program is currently being used. I've put all of these shortcuts down in the description below or up in the description, depending on where you're watching this. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help with my key performance indicators, which is what I present to my supervisors so that they know that I'm doing my job. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.